Hello and welcome to another video presented by Burroughs Consulting Group. I'm your host, Jonathan Burroughs. In this session, we'll solve a problem that's becoming more and more of an issue. TFS is a great centralized version control system. Beginning in TFS 2013, it now supports Git. Git is a distributed version control system and we won't get into the differences or the advantages of one over the other in this episode, but many teams are migrating their apps to Git. Migrating to, to Git is actually quite simple. However, merely getting the latest version of code from TFS, creating a Git repo inside of the folder, and adding all the files is not always sufficient. The problem with this method is that when the code is migrated to Git, the change set history does not carry over from TFS. And what we need is a way, way to migrate in such a way that we retain that revision history. We're going to use a tool called GitTF. GitTF is an open source project out on CodePlex that solves this problem. And uh, GitTF is designed to migrate an entire team project to a single Git repo, but many teams don't use TFS in this way. Many teams use a single dev collection and a single team project under that dev collection with many solutions under that team project. And GitTF supports both of those methods. Let's dig in and see how the tool actually works. Uh, in order to use it, we need to first of all download it from gittf.codeplex.com and under the installing section there is uh, a link to the latest version. Uh, I've already downloaded this and when you download it you will find there is a folder inside and I have extracted that to the temp folder uh, in my on my C drive. Now just a word of caution, gittf does use, uh, is a Java based tool so you will need the Java runtime at least uh, on your machine. So once you have uh, the once you have GitTF extracted and installed somewhere or copied somewhere to your local machine, uh, we need to open a command prompt and we need to navigate to that actual directory. Now once we have uh, once we uh, know what team project we want to migrate to Git, uh, we can simply create a folder and let's just call this test. And let's look at uh, here in Visual Studio Online, I have a sample test project with a single hello.txt file. And let's look and see that we do have some history here. And this is exactly uh, the type of situation that we would have. We want to migrate this to a Git repo, but I also want to re retain all of, this, uh, all of these change sets. Uh, so the way that we can do that is by running from the command line inside of our gittf folder we can run gittf clone then we pass in the path to our dev collection and then after that we have to add uh, our team project and then lastly we tell where we want the team project to create our new git repo, repo app. So I'm going to run this now and when I hit enter I have to enter my credentials But before I hit enter, you'll notice I am in the test directory where the, our repo is going to be created. When I hit enter, we're going to clone from TFS, and we only get one change set. That's the key uh, thing that I want to point out to you so far. So we only got one change set, which means if I come into uh, that folder and I examine that git repo, and I see I do a git log on that, I only see one change set. Now that's great, we've created a git repo, we've got the latest version, we've got that last change set, but we don't have the history. So let's go get that. Now in order to get that, what I want to do is come back, I want to delete the contents of this folder, come back over to our command prompt, and this time we're going to append deep. Enter my credentials once again. And now we cloned seven change sets and the last clone change set was change set 17. So now if we navigate to our test directory and we look at that, there's our files. We've got our hello.txt there. And when I do a git log on it now, you can see that we actually pulled over all of the history. 
So GetTF is a fantastic tool. I am not affiliated with that project, uh, by the way. It's just a tool that I found to do exactly what I needed it to do, and I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to ask. For more information, visit burrus.co. As always, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things BCG.